Here we have 1975 Rover P6 2200TC. So let's take a look at the outside of the car. Finished in very much the period colour of Mexico brown. You either love it or hate it. I personally, I love it. Fitted with period wing mirrors, very much a thing of the time. It's sort of dying out pretty much by the 70s then. Uh, particularly notable on this car is the quality of the paintwork. Uh, again, these Rovers are subject to sometimes a few sorts of corrosion issues, but this car is really quite remarkable. Um, all, all, the, all the way around, the, the whole of the bodywork presents very well. Uh, there's a few couple of issues with some of the, the windscreen rubbers, if pointing those out really, they, they want, certainly might want a bit of attention at some time. Um, but the main thing is it's, it's structurally very, very good indeed. Yep. Chrome works nice, all, all the bright works in good order, right the way around. Obviously someone has been a member of the P6 Rover Owners Club, so it's good to see an enthusiastic owner. Hubcaps a nice order, good tyres on it. Yeah, very much, very much a very smart car. Uh, showing 85,000 miles on the odometer. Just let me get in here. Uh, now, interestingly, these seats are out of what I believe is a 3,500. These are the, the leather seats. And there's actually the original set of seats, the cloth seats with the car as well. So they're, they're, they'll, be, they'll be supplied with the car. Um, notable, there's a face-off, modern face-off uh, stereo player in there. In particular interest of this car, it's a manual gearbox rather than the, the, the autos. These are generally favoured, especially with the, with the twin car. It's a bit more of a powerful model, so the manual suits it very well. Nice little feature there, again, is supply and dealer sticker, which I always think is lovely. Uh, it was a company in Ipswich, that's where it was supplied new to. Headline in good order. Nice to see things like small points, but it's interior light working. They often don't in, in classic cars, so it's nice to see that's still in working order. Um, everything seems, yep, good. There don't seem to be anything to be done in here. All nice and tidy. One thing I think is really worth pointing out is these cars are absolutely prone for rotting under the seats. It's, it's and this is pretty much perfection. Um, so that's an area that always requires attention and this needs nothing. So it's it's a particularly, particularly good example. Let's have a look in the boot, see if that mirrors. Well, you've got your spare wheel in there, battery under there, there's a wheel brace. Right. Again, boot floor in good order. That's an off, often the case where they go. So all looks very presentable, even on the boot lip. The lid in there, it's nice. Okay, let's have a look under the bonnet. All looks very clean and tidy under here. Obviously this with the TC, the twin carb model, rather than the single carb, which is much preferred by people generally for the performance. Inner wings are in good order. All seems nice and dry. Looks like a recent oil filter on there. Um, yep, nothing to worry about under here. It does run exceptionally well, this car. Um, again, th these, are, these are massively undervalued in my opinion. I think it's a great entry to the classic car market. There's a fantastic club, uh, the Rover Sports Register or the P6 Owners Club. Um, and you're going to have a lot of fun in this car. Yeah, but the car is actually live online now, finished on the 23rd of February. Uh, there are, you can bid on, bid on it now. There are some bids already, but don't miss this one. It's a really nice car for the summer.